will I continue to support R. Kelly? PNC plus three. Rolling with the Rhodes Wilson. Uh, important topic that is surrounding our social media, our TV, uh, just a conversation that has just been ongoing the last at least five or six days, which is the Surviving R. Kelly documentary and that whole issue. Um, and the most important thing, you know, about this whole issue is that he still got girls. Like, he still has girls somewhere. There's at least two girls know, you know, know that the parents haven't talked to them for at least two or three years. Um, and which is so, so, so sad. So, I want to be clear that that is, it's mind-blowing. Like, the clarity in that is so mind-blowing. Like, how do society know or how does society know and have always known you know about him and then he's still getting young girls like young girls are still um you know going to him and being you know brainwashed and you know however they've been kept you know they're still living like this when this has started you know 20 plus years ago um and i feel so bad i feel so bad and i know there's nothing i can do but i feel so bad for those young women um because um there were some that came from two-parent households you know but there was also some that came from single parent homes that i guess just wanted to be loved or you know to be able to say oh i was with a famous superstar didn't know he was crazy um and i would not allow my daughters i have two daughters i would not allow my two daughters to be around r kelly when i already know that he possibly had a past with young girls i don't care if my daughter can sing her pipes off she you know was destined to make it that's this is not the way it's got to be somebody else you know if there's a will there's a way for someone else to assist um the next biggest thing is are really people are the next biggest thing to think about are people really going to stop supporting him are they going to really mute r kelly are they going to stop streaming um his songs are they going to stop listening are they going to throw away his cds even though you know you pay for them are you know all that is that really going to happen um i know he has you know they talked about him having canceled shows tours canceled songs and see and and albums not doing as well as they used to you know people don't want to be affiliated with oh we let this pedophile aka this creep okay um you know perform at our venue and just to be associated or attached with r kelly um will i continue to support r kelly No, not at all. No, not at all. No. Um, funny story. So it was my senior year in high school and it was my junior, end of my junior year uh, in high school. And I was in Kalamazoo. I was going to Kalamazoo Central. I uh, am from Benton Harbor, Michigan, or I'm from Ben Harbor, but I was in Kalamazoo for the the last part of my my junior year. And so I don't even remember. That's how long it's been. I don't remember the girls that I was with, but I rode with some girls to like their cousin or their sister house. It was like three or four girls. We was in a car. And they was like, oh, you want to ride with us? And my dumb self said, yeah. And like, I knew them, but they weren't like, we weren't tight. Um, so I rode with them to either like their cousin or sis, big cousin or big sister or something like that. Um, and the big cousin or big sister, or whoever the older person was, like, we were had to be like 16, 17. So they had to been like 
20, 21. So they weren't that much older than us, but they were older than older than us. Maybe 22. I don't know the age. And she's just like, oh, do y'all want to see this R. Kelly video? We was like, yeah. She was like, but... So she was looking around like, y'all are, you know, old enough, right? And so we was all like, yeah, we 16, we 17. She was like, okay, this is the R video that R. Kelly, you know, quote unquote, you know, peed on a girl. We was like, uh, uh. But then... We was like, okay, we want to see it, right? And went through the whole video. You could tell the little girl was young. You could tell her body was young. You could tell, you know. And then the the actual act of him peeing on her was just like, he really did it. Like, I didn't really think he was going to do it, but he really did it. And I was just kind of flabbergasted. And from that moment, I never really, like, I was just like, first and foremost, she's a kid. And the second one, you have that, that's like... That's the same thing as spitting on somebody. Like, that's the most disgusting thing you could do. So, I was just like, ugh. And at that point, I don't think I was a fan. I mean, I'm not going to say that I wasn't. I didn't mute him. Because, you know, I was a kid myself at that time. Um, but he, I, I wasn't a big fan of him like, like I was before. I was born and partially raised in Chicago. I left Chicago when I was about seven years old. But uh, my father family still lived there. So, I traveled back and forth to Chicago often all the time and so anything that has to do with chicago um when you from ben harbor that's like the closest biggest city or you know big big city or whatever so you know you you cherish anything the bulls you know uh r kelly you know you cherish anything that's you know that that makes the highlights chicago and r kelly was one of them so i knew i remember um when my auntie loved, you remind me of my, yeah, I remember my auntie. And she used to play it so much that girl, we, I mean, not girl, but you know, we knew the words. And we knew the words. We was like six, seven, maybe eight. And when it come on, we'd be like, will you remind me of my, you know, and we knew the words and we thought we was doing it, okay? And then to, you know, obviously years later to think like, you are a grown man. Now, I had enough sense to know that this was a grown man and I know this is inappropriate. And and then you even take it far to even, you know, urinate on her. I was like, at that point, I was I was ready. To go. I was done with the video. I ain't even seen nothing else. So I, that's when I began to like, okay, well, I need to get home, you know. And then everybody else is kind of like, yeah, let's go. It's getting, it, it wasn't getting late. School was out at like two, maybe two, two thirds. Four. It wasn't no, it wasn't no later, maybe four o'clock. And I was like, "Yeah, I need to get home. I'm gonna be looking for me or whatever, whatever." So it completely made me uncomfortable. Um, and so just now trickling back now to here, you know, um, we just had a to this day, and we just had a family, a big family gathering for Thanksgiving, and we didn't play none of cause, R. Kelly songs. And what I mean by like stepping in the name of love and all that stuff, most black folk, when family come together, you play some type of R. Kelly, you know, R. Kelly gets some, several songs that's kind of family come together. Yes, you know, we didn't play none of that. And it's so funny. It, it wasn't on purpose. It just, we just didn't play it. Um, And we won't play it because of, you know, what has come out. Do I believe that he was hanging out at the high school, dealing with them girls. Absolutely. I totally believe it. The only person I don't believe on the video, and I'm just going to be completely honest with y'all, is Kitty. Kitty Jones. Now, the other girl, Asante, she was like 35. I believe her. She looked like she was gullible. She looked like um, you know, she, she, she talked about like, he'll pray on you if you weak and all that stuff. And she had talked about she had had a husband before that abused her and cheated on her. She looked gullible to go about what R. Kelly said. But the Kitty Jones, I didn't believe her. She was not believable. And it's not my job to believe her, but I didn't believe her. I felt like she was there because she wanted her job back from me. Because she said she quit her job and moved to where he was at. I didn't believe her. But everybody else, the two girls um, that, uh, that are still with them, their families, I believe them. The other girl that uh, she came, she found her daughter, she got her daughter Dominique, and then Dominique went back and then came back. I believe her. I believe everybody else. Jeronda, I believe Lisa, I believe, Sp I believe them. And, you know, the, 
the parents, the younger, the, the other two parents, uh, the two girls' parents, I'm sorry, that she, one was from Florida and I forgot the other one. I forgot where she was from. I think her name was Joycelyn and then Azriel. Azriel, and then, you know, I'm thinking about the parents. Like, I'm a parent. Me and my husband, we have two daughters. Ain't no way you you have you 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 got um I'm sorry you got off of child pornography charge from the whole urinating on a young woman a whole bunch of counts you got off on that situation and then I'm supposed to let my daughter come you know because she wants this is her dream you, it wouldn't have been her dream. It, it, it just would have to, we would have to find another way. And then she would have disliked me because of the choice that I made. Then, and then when she turned 18, because when she would have been 17, she'd have to do what I told her to do. Then when she turned 18, if she'd have chose that, unfortunately I couldn't change that. And then I would have just hoped and prayed that she would have made the right choice. But not at 16 and 17. No, ma'am. No, him. No, thank you. Do I continue to choose to support R. Kelly and his music? more say his music not his personality his character the answer is absolutely not period okay 